So for the next group of questions, we are going to be working on finding an equation of a line when we're just given two points. So for if we look at question five, we are told that the line goes through 9, 9, and also through 27, 19. The first step for any of these questions is to find slope. The way to find the slope is it is the change of y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I always label my points. My points are always x and y. This first point, I will give them both a subscript of 1. My second point is still x and y. I give those the subscript of 2. It does not matter if you reverse the order as far as um, you label both of these as a subscript of 2 or both of these as a subscript of 1. You'll get the same answer in the end. What you have to make sure though that you do is that um, whatever point you have, both of these subscripts must be the same. So in this case, this is x and y, both those are the that the subscript of 1, that means that's my first point, and the subscript of 2, this just means it's my second point. So I go ahead and I plug those in. Um, so this gives me with 27, uh, oops, excuse me. That is y2, which is 19, minus y1, which is 9, and in the denominator, I have x2, which is 27, minus x1, which is also a 9. I go ahead and subtract. When I go ahead and subtract, nine minus, 19 minus 9 is 10. And in the denominator, 27 minus 9 gives me 18. Now, you must reduce this fraction. You can see right there is make sure you write your answer as an integer or reduced fractions in terms of a n one number over another. So both the 10 and the 18 are divisible by 2. So that leaves me with 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So that tells me my slope is equal to 5 over 9. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Now, where does that go? Remember, we're going for y is equal to mx plus b. So when they say that there's a, a box in front of the x, that's where you want to go ahead and put that in there. We're entering that as a fraction. That's going to be 5 arrow down over 9. Now, for this next piece inside here, that next blank, that is our B. That's the next piece that we're finding. We can do this two different ways. I do still like going from Y is equal to MX plus B and plugging in one of those points. So we already said that M was equal to five over nine. If I use the first of those two points, that's point nine. 9, I can now plug in y is 9, m is 5 over 9, x is 9 plus b, the 9's reduced to equal 1, and if I finish solving for b, I have 9 is equal to 5 plus b, subtract 5 from both sides, and you solve this as b is equal to 4, and then you can go ahead and plug that in. So the next piece here, I have question six. Um, in terms of this equation, they're telling us the points here are negative four, positive four, and uh, one, negative two. So first thing I'm gonna do is label those. Again, I'm gonna call this x1, y1, and my second point, x2, y2. And again, you always have to make sure you label those as x's and y's and the points together. 
Now, the second thing that I want to do with this is to find the slope. That's always my first step. But whenever you see find an equation, your first step is going to be to find the slope. So slope is the change of y or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is negative 2 minus y1, which is 4, all over x2, which is 1. And then I want to subtract x1, which in this case is a negative 4. So make sure you put that negative 4 in parentheses here. Now to go ahead and simplify that um, in the numerator, that is negative 2 minus 4. And in the denominator, that becomes 1 plus 4. So my final answer here is going to be, oh, look at that. It's going to be negative 6 over a positive 5. And that will be my slope. move that over a little bit so you can go ahead and see it a little bit better. All right, so now the next thing is we still have to find the equation of a line. That's the end that they're looking for. I still am going to go through and do this the same way. You can watch another video to use different a different formula. So I have y is equal to mx plus b. And remember the steps here. First, you want to plug in m and then uh, x and y. And your second step is to find b. All right, so um, doesn't matter which one I use here. So I am going to go ahead and use my point 1 and negative 2 here. Remember, x is my 1 y is my negative 2. So I have negative 2 is equal to negative 6 over 5, my slope. My x value is 1, and I am now solving for b. All right. So to go through and finish this, this leaves us with negative 2 is equal to negative 6 over 5 plus b. And I need to turn this to um, into a denominator of 5 because I actually have to subtract 6 fifths from both sides to solve for b. So to do that, 2, I multiply in the numerator and the denominator by 5, so I get negative 10 over 5. And notice, what's negative 10 divided by 5? Just negative 2. And then I subtract 6 over 5 and that gives me negative 16 over 5, and that is equal to uh, b. Oh, wait a second. I just realized something. I missed the negative sign when I was doing this. So let's go ahead and erase this, because there's a small mistake with this. But it's a big one. I missed that negative 6. So instead of doing the negative 6 here, that really should be I am adding uh, 6 over 5 to both pieces. I do apologize for that. That changes my whole answer. That changes it to be uh, a negative 4 over 5. Sorry about that. Um, when I'm done with the questions, what I do is I always go back and double check the work and just making sure all my signs are correct. And that's when I noticed I had the wrong piece there. Now to go ahead and put this one in, this answer is different. So the difference between the way you submit this question and question five, if I look back at question five, they'll ask me, they wanted the first box for my slope and the second box for my y-intercept, my b. Now notice question six, it's one big box in here, so I just have to go through and put both of them in. So it's still y is equal to m, my slope. My slope for this question was a, um, I'm going to put the negative out front and make that a uh, negative 6 over 5. 
you do need to put the x as a variable in, and then b, and then it would be minus my fraction box, and it would be 4 over 5.